and they'll be like, you're my favorite YouTuber because you watched everything before and didn't make us wait. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute or two since I last posted a video. I have been busy. I won't even get into it and give you any excuses. Let's just get into my September favorites because we are already really well into October. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I haven't been crazy excited or crazy satisfied with the holiday collections this year. Um, not so much the collections, but the actual value sets. So the Hourglass Blush Palette in particular, I found that that was a complete ripoff for the amount of product that you got. And the pans were just so small on it that that was not going to happen. And there's been a little few problems here with like Tarte eyeshadows and their big one that they have that's like in a sequined bag. Those ones really didn't swatch out that great. And it's just like, Every time I'm in the store now, I almost get happy when I'm a little bit disappointed with something because I'm not spending a ton of money. But leave it to Bite Beauty, Canadian company, I may add, to uh, come out with something that was just like, okay, yep, absolutely, I have to buy this. And this is the uh, Bite Discovery set, I believe it's called. I actually swatched everything out for you guys before so that you wouldn't have to wait and watch me swatch. And I forgot to do one. There we go. I was thinking, why is the box empty? Because it's almost like a, a puzzle piece. Put that one back in it. Okay, so this is what the set looks like here. I will try my best not to drop it everywhere. So the thing that I love about this, it was $54 Canadian. And I love that you can physically break this up and make it into a gift for several different people. So you know those people that you want to give gifts to, but you're not necessarily super close with them and you don't want to do anything too big? Something like this is perfect. You can literally just break it up, do like a Bath and Body Works hand soap or something like that and make up a little basket or a little bag or something and it's, it's perfect for a gift. Me, of course, I bought this for me. There are a few things in here that I am going to give away. Promise. Um, but I'll show you guys what you get. So you get the, Bush, the Bite Lush Lip Wipes. Say that five times fast. You get five packets of those, which I haven't tried, but apparently they're really good for taking off liquid lipsticks. You get the uh, Bite Agave Lip Mask, which is a five gram product, so it is definitely a mini size of it. You need such a small amount of that product anyway, but that is something that I have tried before and I wasn't really a fan of it, so that will be getting gifted to somebody this coming holiday. You get a full size lipstick here in Pepper which I'm not sure if this is a regular product that they carry all the time, but the color is beautiful. I have the swatches I'll show you when I'm done my rant. They have the Bite Beauty little lip mirror that you can carry around in your bag, which is convenient. Um, something small, I guess it fits in the box. Not really excited about that. They have the full size uh, lip pencil in pomegranate, and these are called high pigment lip pencils, that's right. So it's in the shade Pomegranate, which is a beautiful red. You get the primer, which is called the Deluxe Line and Define Primer. That is obviously a mini size. And then you also get one of their matte cream crayons. And that is in the shade Glace. So it's like a... I hate using the term Kylie Jenner because the Kardashians are just... That's a whole other situation. Um, but it's like that Kylie Jenner color, that really beautiful mauve brown. It's beautiful. I love it. And then you also get the full size gloss here in the shade Honey, I believe. Yes. Okay, so here are the swatches here. So starting, let me put this down here so I can explain. So this one here is the Luminous Cream Lipstick in Pepper. This is the Matte Lip Crayon in Glace. This is the Lip Pencil in Pomegranate, which I cannot wait to wear that for the holidays. It's beautiful. And then this here is that nude gloss called Honey. So like I said, there's not a ton of pigment in that one, but they are beautiful glasses. And for $54 Canadian, I was super happy with this. Giant favorite. I've been wearing the lipstick Pepper pretty much every day. But there is another lipstick that I am wearing today that I am going to tell you guys about because I get a ton of questions when I wear this shade. Um, there's something about fall, I'm telling you. It's like something changes and women just want to be super, super dark lipped. It's be I love it. I love this time of year. I'm almost wanting to try a black lipstick. That's how into the dark lips I am. So these, I do have a blog post on this. These are the Lancome Absolute Definition, Absolute Rouge Definition lipsticks. And they are absolutely stunning. I love them. So this is in the shade, if I can see. 
This is in the shade 294. Now, one thing about Lancome is they do put their number and their shade name on their box, but they only put the shade number on the actual packaging. So I don't know what number this is, but I do know that it's 294, if that's helpful. And it is what I have on today. Just take a look at the packaging of this. So you get the black and gold. It's absolutely beautiful. You get the signature Lancome rose on the top. And of course, magnetic closure, which is there anything more satisfying in the makeup world than a magnetic closure lipstick? I don't think so. So I do have this on today, but I will do a swatch here on my hand for you as well. So that one right there on the end is the shade that I have on. And I love these lipsticks. They're super long lasting and they're not drying at all for a matte lipstick. So if you do have lips that are in a little bit more of a bad shape, if you have chapped lips or they're flaky, I would definitely do an exfoliation first and then put a balm on underneath of them. But the wear time of them is beautiful and I love them. They do have a pretty distinctive smell. So if you're sensitive to smells and you don't like them in your lipsticks, you might not like these because it does uh, tend to linger for about maybe half an hour after you apply it. I am not a huge fan of fragrance, but it doesn't bother me. Next thing is something that I used to talk about all the time and I absolutely fell in love with and then life happens and you just want to try new products and you forget about the ones that truly love you. And this is the Shiseido Radiant Lifting Foundation and I have mine in the shade B40. This is, oh actually this one's B20. I go between B20 and B40. Um, this is a fantastic foundation for people that have dry skin. So if your skin is dry, if your skin is dull, if you want something that gives a really luminous finish, that gives wicked coverage and doesn't feel super heavy on the skin, this is the one for you. So I've tried it with a beauty blender, I've tried it with a brush, I've tried it pretty much every way that you can and I really just like to put this on with my hands. I find that I can put it on first where I want the coverage and then just kind of blend the edges out with it and it's, it's just a fantastic foundation. It does not irritate my skin, it does not break me out. It keeps me hydrated, it does not catch on dry patches, but I will tell you this, it is the most luminous foundation that I own, that I've ever put on my skin. It's, it's such a dewy foundation, but it's beautiful. It's so nice, you really need to try it if you like foundations that give your skin a glow. Um, okay, so this is actually what I've been mixing into that foundation to make it a little bit more glowy because I have a problem with highlighting. And I do not highlight by season, I highlight all year round and all the time, every day, it's what I do. So these are the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops in the shade Morning Light. And one of these products that you have to shake up pretty well, you remove the top here and you have your little dropper. And um, it's just, it's beautiful. I'll see if I can get I don't think I'm going to be able to swatch this for you guys. I can swatch it, obviously, but I just don't know if you'll be able to see it. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so it's right there on the end. Such a nice finish, and it does have definitely a lot more yellow in it than pink. So it's not gold, which I like because I'm so fair that if I put something on that's too gold, it's actually darker than my skin tone, which completely defeats the purpose of highlighting. That one is amazing. Um, you can mix it with your moisturizer if you don't want to wear any makeup that day. You can tap it over your foundation. It works really well for that because it's so fluid that it doesn't move the makeup underneath of it. A lot of uh, clients that I work with, they say they have a hard time with cream highlight because they feel like it moves all of the other makeup that they just applied. And that can definitely happen, but if you use something like the Elf, uh, Elf Small Stipple Brush, it's fantastic for that. You can literally just kind of buff it out and it won't make anything move. The next product is another oldie but a goodie. This is MAC Omega Eyeshadow. Looks like this. And I have been using this in my eyebrow exclusively for about three weeks now. So I'm not using any pencils, I'm not using any fiber gels, I'm not using any mascaras, I'm not using any of that. I'm just using this with an angled brush. Every time I see it, I'm like, oh, that's really light. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to give me the definition that I want in my brow. And it does. Like, it's, it's just one of those products that everyone should have on hand. Um, if I was a professional, if I was a professional, since I'm a professional makeup artist, 
I um, colors like this really mean a lot to me because they're so versatile and they work for everyone and they're very multi-use so you could actually contour with this I've contoured my cheekbones out with this color before you can use it in the brow you can obviously use it as an eyeshadow like it's made to be used it's just one of those really good multi-purpose tools to have around and I've been getting a ton of use out of this I'm actually gonna hit pan on it pretty soon I think and my next back to Mac I will be getting another one for sure my next product is broken and almost empty, but uh, I enjoyed it so much while I was using it that I just have to say a little something about it. This is the Josie Moran 100% Pure Argan Oil. Looks like this. As you can see, I've broken the top of it. And this came in the Sephora Favorites Kit, I want to say the year before last. I don't think it was last year. Um... Because I remember last year saying I didn't want to buy the favorite set because it was too similar to the one last year, which is where I got that. Anyway, um, it's a beautiful oil if you have a more dry skin. I don't find it to be thick at all. I do know that they make a light version for people with normal to combination skin, but oils are just working quite well for me right now. I'm dealing with some sort of a reaction around my eyes and especially there, and that has not touched me at all. It has not... Um, affected me or made me irritated or red when I apply it and it does really keep my skin nice and hydrated but the best thing that I really like about it is that I don't feel like I need to protect everything when I put it on meaning sometimes I put face oils on before I go to bed and I'm terrified to lay my head on my pillowcase because I don't want that oily stain left on my fabrics and that has not done that to me once it has been absolutely beautiful on the face and I've been using it quite heavy uh, quite heavy to be honest I've been pretty heavy-handed with it and my skin just seems to really like it so like I said that one is almost empty I might have one or two uses out of it I do have a Clarins face oil that I want to try out first um, just because I have it and if that doesn't work out for me there's a big chance that I'm going to be repurchasing the big size of that okay one more makeup item this is there's a story behind this one. So I started watching Sex and the City again the other day. And for anyone who hasn't watched Sex and the City, what are you doing? Go get Netflix or it's not on Netflix. I think it's on Crave TV. Um, or buy the box set of all the DVDs. Get your girlfriends and get a ton of wine and just watch Sex and the City. It is a fantastic show. It's so real between the characters and it's so unreal with what Carrie wears and how she buys everything. Like... She has enough money to buy 15 pairs of Manolo Blahnix, but she can't pay her rent. So I was watching Sex in the City the other day, and they were all sitting at the coffee shop having lunch and discussing God knows what about relationships. And I kept noticing Carrie's blush, and I'm like, I forgot how she always has that bright baby doll, really healthy glow blush on, always, all the time. She's quite fair-skinned, very fresh complexion, but she always had that really pop of, like, pink color. And I think it was like season four that it was really big. I could be wrong. But there was one season that it was like she wore nothing but like pink neon blush. So I went into my collection to see what I had. And I came out with the Dior Rosy Glow Healthy Glow Awakening Blush. Which looks like this. And this is one of my favorite blushes of all time. Even before I realized that it was similar to what Carrie Bradshaw wore. I'll do a swatch for you guys here on the bottom there. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it's so nice. It looks so beautiful on so many skin tones and that blush lasts longer than any makeup product that I have. Like my foundation will be breaking down, my lipstick will be breaking down, my eyeshadow will be starting to fade and that blush will still hold strong. So that is an absolute favorite of all time. Um, and I also love it when I'm looking for a certain product or I get excited about something and I find something in my collection other than just going out and repurchasing something else because that is always good to save money. I only have two more products left, guys. I don't really have that many favorites this month, just because I really was super busy and I didn't really have time to try out as much as I would have liked. But one new product that I did try and love is the Colab Volume Extreme Dry Shampoo in the London Classic Scent. And this is the dry shampoo uh, made by Ruth, who is a model recommends, who's fantastic, another YouTuber here on YouTube. And this dry shampoo, gives you so much volume without making it feel dirty or heavy. I love the scent of it. It's just, it works really well for me. And I find that it's really nice too. Even like, it's hard to do this right now because I can't, 
I don't really have a full camera on me. Um, what's good about it is that if you find that your hair starts to flatten out during the day, if you literally just kind of shake at your root for like a second, it almost like reactivates everything and makes your hand stand up for your hair stand up for however long until it kind of starts to flatten out again. I have a really hard time with flat hair. My hair is always super flat, which I think is why I prefer it curly, just because it gives it more bounce. But that dry shampoo is absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite ways to use it is to actually apply it before I go to sleep. And it's almost like you put it in and you massage it around on the scalp and then you sleep with your hair kind of up on top of your head on the pillow. And you wake up in the morning with so much volume, it's fantastic. Okay, so my last product actually isn't even for me. This is for my freelance kit. And this was something that I didn't know was going to be available to anyone in Canada because as far as I had heard, it was only available in the States. But it came up one day on the Sephora website and it said limited edition, available, whatever, $100. And I'm like, oh shit, I have to buy that right away because if I miss it, I'm going to be really upset. It is the Anastasia Brow Pro Palette. And this is something that's going to be absolutely fantastic for my kit. So it has every color of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Signature Brow Powder, which is 11 shades. And then it also comes with the brow primer that you use first. And that is what all of the powders will adhere to. So for someone that does professional makeup like I do for brides and things like that, it's going to be fantastic for that. And I also love that you can uh, individually remove these little pans. Now, in saying that, I don't know if that is something that I'm going to be able to reorder because this was such a fluke that it was on the website. And where it is limited edition, that does make me a little nervous. So, if anyone knows the answer to that, that would be wonderful if you could let me know. And those are all of my favorites for the month of September. I can't believe it has been this long since I filmed a video. I promise I will try better to uh, get something up a little bit sooner next time. I'm still trying to figure out a background, guys. Like, it's just, I think I might just need to leave it and just say, this is going to be my background, and it is what it is, because it's, it's just a lot. Um, I will say that bridal season is finally starting to dwindle down, so that will give me a little bit of extra time. And I'm also doing a giant bridal show here in Halifax in January, so I'm doing a lot of planning for that, planning my booth and planning what everything's going to look like, things like that. And then I also wanted to do a quick mention for um, my friend Kimmy made me a mug for my birthday, which is on September 1st. So this is also a September favorite. And it's this giant white mug that says Girl Met Blush on it. And it has anchors on it pretty much everywhere. And when I drink out of it, which there's hardly any tea left in this, it actually says Girl Met Blush with an anchor on the bottom. And this is like, I love this. I've been drinking out of this pretty much every morning. And I love it so much that I will hand wash it because I don't want any of this to wear off. So I wanted to say a huge thank you to Kimmy for this mug. It was beautiful. Thank you. You're amazing. And last thing I have to tell you guys is I'm actually doing a giveaway right now with the Halifax Shopping Center here in Halifax. So if you go to my Instagram, which is at girlmetblush, you're going to be able to see that I'm giving away a Smashbox Double Exposure Palette. And this is one of my favorite palettes for fall. It has great colors in it. It's for everybody. And um, all you have to do is follow me and follow Halifax Shopping Center and then tag one of your friends and uh, let me know something that you love about fall. So super easy instructions. Like I said, it's on Instagram at Girl Met Blush. The contest is going to go until October 14th and then it will be closed down. For this contest, it is only available to Canadian residents. So I apologize for that. Um, usually though the Canadians are always the ones that are left out of all of these contests so it's exciting for me to be able to do something for just the Canadian beauties and hopefully sometime near in the future I will be able to do more of an international giveaway. So that's all I have for you today guys. Thank you so much for finding your way to my channel once again and I will talk to you guys in my very next video. Bye!